Hello everyone, hope you guys had an amazing day. Happy Monday. Uh, we sure did. So, great start to the week. Uh, this video should be a bit short. Alright, so essentially this is what I'm looking at. We see that the SPY obviously made a very, very big move to the downside. Okay. Once we start trading within this lower level of the Bollinger Band. So all this is going to take, right? Because clearly right now we can see that it's very, very far overextended outside. We were very far overextended outside over here as well. But all it took was one day, maybe even two days of uh, continued, you know, where price stabilized. Once the price stabilized, it started to trade within the Bollinger Bands again. So once you start trading within the Bollinger Bands again, it basically gives more room to another leg down. Because if this entire move down all the way, so for example, we basically stagnated at 364, bounced back up to 371, okay? If we never bounced and fell from 364 down to 356 within, you know, in the next two days after this drop the pump upwards would be astronomic so that's another reason why i think they uh maintained it but essentially uh over here what we saw was there was still a lot more uh, bearish pressure we might have one day or two days where the price stagnates and bounces a bit and then it gives more room to another leg down that's basically what i think can end up happening um uh you know either into the end of this week or next week so currently we're holding on to uh january 16th calls and uh we just have to see how the price stabilizes whether it's going to break back above 383 uh basically then 385 387 is the level of resistance but overall you know this is not an automatic reason to become bullish uh like in the short term so we're getting calls for longer term, but in my opinion, it still looks like they're until we get some really, really solid green candles. Even then, I mean, all of this is still very, very strong bearish momentum. So at best, I mean, we'll get a bounce back up to 390, but it would be very difficult for me to believe that uh, it would sustain itself until we get some sort of like a bullish structure. But yeah, just trying to become aggressively long here as the knife is falling is the equivalent of basically like there's still another like potentially another 10 points down that we could fall lower. So keep that in mind. Uh, and that is my immediate thought. Those are my immediate thoughts, essentially. Uh, the dollar didn't really do much. The VIX didn't really do much. The bonds didn't really do much. Um, and the SPY, the NASDAQ and the IWM all look pretty similar so you can see uh the iwm opened within the bollinger bands here right like yesterday it was clearly opened and closed outside of the bollinger bands but then today it opened within it and because we opened within it it gave enough room to fall down and become overextended again it becomes a problem when you have multiple days opening and closing outside but if you have a day where it starts to open inside and then it just falls out again that's not extreme overextension. Extreme overextension is what we just saw uh, on the IWM on Friday where it opened and closed. So if you get multiple days where it's opening and closing outside of the lower bands, uh, like here, I had two multiple days where it closed and opened outside of the lower bands. The next two days were big green. So um, same concept. And uh, yeah, we saw that there was more room to fall and we could see that in the iwm so yeah there is my take on what i think can end up happening for the rest of the week i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like comment subscribe do all that good stuff and i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you